Hello, my name is Greg Kletzel and I'm an illustrator and this is my sketchbook. This is what I use for everything from personal projects to professional work. Pretty much everything that's in this sketchbook is in this video. This is a little tour. All right, so this is my sketchbook. This is a croquis, I guess that's French for sketch. And under here, this Primus sticker, it says Marimon SL. That's the company in Japan that makes it. And a bunch of stickers from some friends. Okay, let's go. All right, so this is the first page. I was just messing with some paint pens. These uh, Posca, Posca paint pens. So this is like uh, just kind of like a freestyle first page of the book. Just doodling, seeing, you know, seeing what happens. This hot dog guy, super weird. Just draw. All right, next page. I was doing some workshops with some elementary school students, and these were some of the characters that they drew. And I'm working on a piece for a school right now, which is taking a while to finish, but uh, hopefully it'll come out later this year. And this is some like early exploration sketches for that piece. I really like this one. So here's some other little doodles, just kind of going for it. Love this dude on his phone, the earbud. Yeah, I know. I know, right? And again, just draw. So these are a bunch of sketches for Hollywood Reporter about the end of Game of Thrones and how it could potentially hurt their award chances. So they had this idea of just like, you know, a watch party. Everyone's super pissed. And then we ended up going with this one as the final. There you go. That's the finished piece, which I turned into a postcard. This is kind of like what my favorite thing to do is these pages. I don't remember really the process of drawing any of this. It's kind of like a, I don't know, I zone out. My friend Bo called it transcendental doodling, which I like, I like that term. This guy here, just hanging out. I turned that into an illustration with some Posca paint pens for Instagram. And then that Batman guy, turn that into another piece. This one I did pretty recently, this rocker guy, just filled out a band around him and then colored it up. And this character here, which was inspired by Krang from Ninja Turtles, I took him out of here and put him into an illustration I did at the beginning of the pandemic about PPE and everyone scrambling to find masks and supplies. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll pull from these pages and turn them into other illustrations. Another doodle page. This time, kind of layering characters, everything overlapping. I pulled this lava lamp out for a t-shirt design, which is later in the book. And then these Ninja Turtles, turn that into a finished piece, which you can see right here. Okay. And then this was a old piece that I did for this blog called Snacks Quarterly. And then I wanted to kind of revisit that piece. So here's the finished version. This is on my Etsy shop. This is a risograph, three colors. These are some sketches and designs for a kid's clothing brand called You Know For Kids, which my wife and I are thinking about starting. It's like a side project. There you go. Too blessed to be stressed. And there's a wizard guy. Is that the same wizard? Oh, it's a different wizard. You know, for kids. Some more little characters. Oh, and this wizard guy here, he's over here. This was for Hollywood Reporter about all these live TV shows that were popping up, how they were all competing against each other. 
they pretty much had the idea in place. This was more of like a layout exercise, just kind of coming up with the right layout to go with. And then this was the final inking before coloring in Photoshop, which I'll show you here. And then this is an illustration that I did for another Razorgraph print. So here's the art for a Star Wars print I made for Six Ad Summer Art Book Fair. I initially made this Star Wars print, and then this is the updated print. Here's the Burger Boy. All these pieces, I scan them in, chop them up in Photoshop, and then when you print them, you get this kind of cool overlay effect. All right. This is this band Idols, and I drew this while watching like a YouTube video of them performing at Glastonbury Festival in England. Yeah, I just was like going, trying to draw as fast as I could to capture the energy of the show. I colored this in Photoshop, just a quick pink background and posted it online. Cool. And here's another band, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So I was watching their live, like another live performance on YouTube. Then I turned that into another finished color illustration. And I also drew them four times so that I can get this kind of wiggly animation effect. King Gizzard, great band. Some other doodles here, Fear and Loathing. Just random stuff. All right. All right, this was for working, not working, which it's like for freelancers, you can say if you're working or not working so clients can hire you. I think the title of the article was the best writing advice I ever ignored. A bunch of ideas that I presented to the client and they chose th this one. I think I started drawing it like this at first. It wasn't really feeling the quality of the line art. So I started over and shrunk it a little bit. And this is the final. Elon Musk, he loves to say order of magnitude. He says it all the time. All right, so these were the designs for this artist named Lowen. Got to do some merch for her. Here are some tighter sketches. And so we designed a shirt based off of this lava lamp idea. Some more sketches from that school project. It's a collaboration with my daughter, Joni. These were some t-shirt designs for a company out in California called Blick, which I've worked with a bunch in the past. This is from my zine, Lord of the Vape Cloud. This was for ESPN about the University of Miami football mascot getting tackled by a bunch of cops, which is a true story. And this is what the final piece looks like. Here's some more sketches. This is for disenchantment. These are some rough sketches about people's own personal hells. So at first I was drawing like that scale and I wasn't feeling it. Shrunk it down a bit, changed up the whole feeling. And then here's what the finished pieces look like. This is for New York Times parenting. This was like the last job of 2019 for me. I had just moved to Atlanta, so I was doing this in my kitchen. This is what it looks like finished. These were some sketches for Red Envelope Show organized by Grumpy Bert for Chinese New Year. And it was the year of the rat. 
So I drew a bunch of these demented Mickey Mouse characters. This is a illustration of New York. I was really missing New York around this time. Also Jason Pollen. Yeah, Jason Pollen had just passed away and was a fan of his. And all these friends of mine and artists that I admire who knew him personally were writing some amazing tributes to him. And I think just being inspired by his life and work and missing New York just made me want to draw this. Check out his book, Every Person in New York. Super inspiring. Some more doodles, random stuff. Drew the Beatles. And then this is another fill the page piece, getting to the end of the book. This was right before COVID hit, drew this crazy page. I was listening to a lot of Eckhart Tolle talk about the ego. So yeah, that's pretty much my sketchbook. That's it. Thanks for watching.